Dr Khan had said he was depressed after being held for 13 months and tortured in a Syrian government jail. But his family say that changed completely when he knew he was about to be freed this coming Friday. It's why they reject the Syrian claim that he hanged himself, even though he had once written to them saying he felt suicidal. He was, and this was several weeks ago, when he was uh, in, a, in a worse prison to what he was in now. Um, uh, in the last uh, two months, he's been uh, getting better. He was high-spirited. He was looking forward to come home. Dr Khan entered Syria illegally. He'd gone to northern Syria to do similar work to this team of Médecins Sans Frontières doctors, helping civilians caught in the civil war. He was arrested at a government checkpoint and taken to Damascus in November 2012. The family campaign to get him out was relentless, close to success. But they say the Foreign Office did not do enough to help. We've coordinated that ourselves. And the government could have done that 13 months ago. But they decided to drag their heels and put a closed shot placard up and placate us throughout. The Foreign Office warns British people not to go to Syria and it no longer has an embassy in Damascus. It said, we have consistently sought consular access to Dr Khan and information on his detention directly and through the Russians and Czechs and others. Our requests have consistently been ignored. In a letter to Foreign Secretary William Haig, one of Dr Khan's children had written, please help our dad to come back home because we miss him too much and we cry every day. I have not seen Baba for a year and I want to hug him. Now the family is concentrating on bringing his body home for a post-mortem examination and for the grieving process. Tim Marshall, Sky News.